Hello. Today, I'm going to do a power reading for the chosen one. Let's see how this portal that formed by the two most important eclipses of 2024 will bring you. And who will you become after this transformative event? So are you ready? The chosen one, the definition of the chosen one that could be chosen by your own soul that come to this life with a very specific mission. You can be the chosen one for yourself or the divine within or the God, Christ, whatever, Buddha, Guan Yin, Krishna, <laughs> so let's see. I choose I do this with Tarot because I love the reading. It's always so positive, introspective, and you can see the compassion in the voice uh, with so much humanity. <laughs> okay. Three cards are you reading, okay? Should I do reversal? I don't know. Let's see. First card. I have to always blow the magic breath into the tarot. Okay, the first one. Ta -da! Ah, it's the star reverse. For three card reading, the first card usually represents the past or the recent past. You are the star in this vast universe. And have you forgotten why you're here? And have you forgotten your mission to shine a light, to light up the darkness, to radiant from inside out, just like our sun? And your eternity and your light can bring so much, bring, create the whole universe around you, millions, billions of years. So, Remind yourself when, at what moment or circumstance that you forgot that your mission as a star. <laughs> and this is really a reminder of your mission and the light within you. Okay, the second tarot card is the present, present moment after the first eclipse and going to the next one. Where the intense moments, I have been doing so much inner work, basically meditation and be in the nature are the two most important things for me. Everything else doesn't really exist in my life at this moment right now. Okay, second card. Ta -da! Oh. It's the three of swords. As you can see, it's also reversal. <laughs> Oftentimes, whenever we see the three of swords, we freak out. We saw that. This must be the worst tarot card in the whole deck. It symbolizes heartbreak, betrayal, the bottom of the life, and so much darkness in the dark night of the soul. However, when the three of source is reversal, it's like shining a light to the sad, dark, situation 
when you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you knew that there will be rainbow after the rain. This really is telling you that, yes, right now you have been going through so much internally. Even on the surface, it looks all shiny, sunshine, bright lights, life's so good. However, in your heart, you're traveling some miles, journaling back all the way to the past and the future, doing lots of lots of deep dive, hard work, so searching. So it's like the dawn of the dark night of the soul. You know that the sun is rising at the horizon. You can see, you can see kind of the glow around it with that last last few moments of hard work and please remind yourself that you can do it that's what oh, we're here for <laughs> and every single challenge waves of dark night of soul it's the greatest opportunity for the ascension of your soul and without this you probably will not have a jump to the next upgrade so rapidly and transformably. Okay, the last card. It's the near future. All you can think about is for the next three weeks, months, Years, let's see. Good one. <laughs> the first ever tarot card of the whole deck. In fact, the entire tarot card is a fool's journey. It's like going back to zero. Think about the fool. It's this kind of attitude that you knew that when you jump, when you leap, the net will appear. What else can't be a better car than this car to symbolize a completely brand new beginning of your life? Even that, on the surface, everything reminds the same. But internally, you have completed the whole cycle and come back all the way to the beginning of the new cycle internally. From that day, after you did all the whole uh, hard work, okay? From that day, you will have a completely brand new way of thinking, a new way of perceiving the world, a new way of connecting with others, a new way of understanding of yourself and the others, a new mission. In fact, uh, perhaps it's a better understanding of your original mission that's without the interference of ego. You knew that in the end, it's all a game. What else? Like, this is a, only a simulation that's made by the construct of you. All the information your soul has obtained throughout lifetimes, and from your perspective, you project this whole world. And then, if you can be so brave. To really start over, like the restart button. Wow! <laughs> In this life, <laughs> what can be more powerful than this? This kind of willingness to take initiative to say that, okay, now it's time. Let's start a new life, a new world, a new universe. And yes, 
to see yourself as a fool is such a humble and carefree uh, childlike, which is way more close to divine than the adult's attitude. Uh, this kind of thinking. And then you knew that when you jump with a leap of faith, whatever there to catch you is what you are here for. Okay, I hope that this reading has been encouraging for you. And I definitely will take it to my heart and really follow the information that I have received. So happy eclipse and congratulations on your upgrade.